Okay guys, this is part one of the lightning effect animation. Nice and simple. Not much to it. Basic cloud, a few lectures D and the rated designs. Okay. Right, to start off, open a document, two ninety by three hundred, transparent, resolution seventy two. This will fit the game battles profile nice and easy um, you can do it as big as you want but actually it's a bit too big didn't want 300 I wanted 200 um, the background for game battles profile is 283033 let's put that as the background and just put some text over it, text me whatever you want <laughs> then select what you want just do impact for now make it as big as you want, small as you want, as long as you like it okay do center it and then you can keep it like that or you can put a style on it I'm going to go for the one I just used you can also put a stroke on it nice okay right now you just you can download custom shapes for the lightning effect you will need to go to deviantart.com and type in obviously lightning custom shapes and you get a set like this and like this and then once you have that select one and nicely drag it across and then you want to change this color here to white so then it looks like lightning okay then you're going want to get another one preferably a different one and then just put that over the top again doesn't matter if they overlap it's just for now the colors should stay the same if it does if, um, if it doesn't then just change it um, then get another one you want to do this about five times just so it all builds up so then you have a, a variety of lightning bolts to choose from also just try and keep them preferably near the top don't put them all the way down here because it won't fit in the clouds you don't have to do the clouds but something new it's different and it just makes it look like the lightning bolts aren't coming from nowhere right once you've done this also the pasty you can, can keep it 100 but I keep it to 75 just so they don't like really stick out now you just want to make a new layer get a brush tool and you also download these from DeviantArt um, I forgot what they're called but they might just be clouds or lightning clouds because they're only little effects and then you just not not too big start off we, we make them any colour but I thought I'd go for a little blue and just put it over the top and then you want to make another layer and select the colour black you can make it a little bit smaller and then just put that over the top of the blue and then change the opacity to 50 <coughs> and then make another layer and select the grey tool 
grey colour and you keep that the same as it just makes it look like more of a cloud and then change that to I'd say about 20 you can have it 10 or 20 I'll do it in the middle 15 okay then there's a little thunder cloud like I said any colour you want but I like the colour blue so it's going for the old blue then you want to for the first animation frame in order to get this up just go windows animation and it will come up with this sometimes if you haven't used it in a while it will come up with this you don't want this not for this so then just click this little button here and go to convert to frame animation once you've done that <coughs> then you want to obviously don't want that 10 seconds you want it 0 0.2 and then you want to except for the first shape keep that the same and then for all the other ones put the opacity down to zero okay now you're going to be left with just one of the shapes and then click the button here which makes the new frame and then you want to make the first shape go and a new one come on and then just keep repeating this step till you have done all five <coughs> then once you've done all five you want to go back but do it in a random order so don't go straight back the way you came, just select any random one you want and make it up to 100 or 75 but as I'm doing it quickly I'm just going to do it to whatever you make as many frames as you want do it as many times as you, as you wish it does not matter and then once you've done that nice and simple and then just go you want to change this to forever and press play and I'll give you a nice little lightning effect over the text they might stick out but that's just the way I've done the clouds then to do that just go to frame one select all the clouds and just move them over a little bit and then I'll change all the frames make sure you're on number one if you want to change something and like I said, just play it again and it doesn't stick out that much then just give it a little tag obviously for me it's going to be rated designs change the text and then that's it not much more to it very basic, very easy and there we go there it is you can do it any kind of font you want for this for this one it's a different font and it's different clouds this one the clouds are lighter but that is how you do it and it will look similar to this depending on how you do it and that's it in order to get it on the website say for web devices and <coughs> take a while to load then you preferably want to go for the best one you see so for me it's just for the original just save it and then yep untitled 2 gif just name it and then that's it you're done this is part 1 lightning tutorial Thank you for watching, please subscribe.